Mm -hmm. uh, so, hi and uh, welcome to this uh, video. Uh, today I'm gonna do a book review of uh, Nonviolent Communication by Marcel Rosenberg. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna do some book reviews and maybe audiobooks and teachings and tea and, uh, and and stuff by teachers that I appreciate uh, and this is a Swedish translation so I'm uh, I'm sure so that some words I'm not using some words the same as Marshall for example uh, used in his book uh, but you know I'm not gonna do this review very long. Uh, I'm gonna take some points that I think is uh, that I really took from this book. And firstly, it it, it really opens our minds uh, uh, to be aware of how are we using words and how are we communicating in life and. And it's, it's quite funny where uh, after you understand how, you know, violent communication and stuff, you can see that most of our society and most of our childhood uh, growing up, like the way we learned how to communicate, everything is violent. And, uh, and it's, it's not... In, in, it's not that people intend to be, but uh, you know, even our uh, many of most of our parents and stuff, uh, how they you know communicated with us as kids, and how teachers uh, communicate at schools, and you know how we generally do. We can see there is a very big, uh, well, it's a very violent way of communicating a lot of judgment a lot of uh, you know separation and not connecting and that's one of the first thing that marshall uh, really points out that uh, he, he he wants to go beyond that or like that that intention with his uh, non-violent communication that uh, it, that we're not out to to judge people to to remove like the good the bad uh, and connect what are our needs i mean he's very big on needs and uh, and we can see that and, and and this is a very nice because when we when we are mindful in life and we practice something like this uh, what we learn in this book, it really opens us uh, up to, to to explore why are we saying the things we are doing? What's their intention to, to why we act in different ways in our relationships? And we can go deeper and look, what is it that we actually need? Uh, and we can like go to the source and to the we can go beyond the uh, the words so to speak and go go deeper and, um, and that's and, uh, <laughs> i'm used to you know rant away about this different stuff but i'm gonna try to keep to the book because it's a book review <laughs> I'm, I intended to do here, but um, and it's very uh, goes very much into also that you know to to listen beyond the words, listen to you know he has different songs he has made that are very very beautiful where you know when people are let's say angry or or are. You're in a situation where there's a lot of, uh, let's say, emotional uh, turmoil and uh, someone that, you know, uh, 
it might be quite quite violent and you know and when uh, and Marshall would say you know to to look at that person uh, to see them you know he has a song that's called see me beautiful and uh, see the best in me something like that and it's and you 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 know he oh, he do he does this you know um uh, demonstration with the giraffe ears <laughs> and why he take giraffe ears is because they have the biggest hearts of all the animals if I remember correctly uh, and you know and when you when you hear people you know and this is a beautiful practice to do when you hear people saying things stuff you only hear the needs beyond that like the innocence the the truth and you connect with that you know you you make an intention to connect with people and instead of judging them you you respect their viewpoint and you connect and you let them be who they are you know it's a very in some sense it's almost uh, it's a very and like almost uh, non uh, uh, non duality communication sometimes you now we go beyond that and uh, 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 I, it's, it's a very uh, I love the book and it's uh, and it's a you know beautiful way to you know create um, create uh, harmony and uh, in relationships and not only with the with the people in your life and the outside world but you know with yourself uh, and. We see that we are most of the time our own biggest critics and to learn to communicate with that part of us non-violently and connect with the need beyond that and, and uh, see what that inner child wants to be instead of pushing it away, you know, we, you know, we embrace it. And that's kind of, yeah, uh, that's a way and, you know, he has these four component process where you know when you see something in your life that are uh, that is let's say triggers you in some way or makes you react you you might say to the person hey when i see that you observe and then you go to i feel let's say when i see that i feel I feel trapped. And then you go to the feeling, yeah. And then you might go, well, then you go to the to the need and feel trapped. And I, you know, I need some freedom and acceptance in this situation. And then you ask for a request, like, would you be, a, would you like to? maybe do this or could we maybe do it this way and you go through this process and you connect with the need and you express your need and you know people will find that more uh, and it will it, it, it will uh, transform situation definitely I've seen it uh, in my life and it's a daily practice to connect with that uh, need before we react so yeah, it's a great book. I recommend it. Uh, I recommend he, he got some great YouTube uh, videos also. Well, it's not his, I guess, but uh, people have put on uh, some uh, when he has workshops and stuff. So yeah. Uh, well, that what is that was it for this book review. Uh, goodbye and thank you for watching.